Now we bring you something on tourism. It contributes greatly to the gross domestic product GDP of Nigeria. Therefore, more support must be given to the sector by the federal government that will maximally reap its benefits. The special advisor to Governor Sawolu on tourism, arts and culture, Solomon Bonham, stated this uh, during a tourism event in Lagos. Correspondent Lavi Kukwedoko tells us more in this report. Nigeria, no doubt, has the potentialities required for tourism development. These are noticeable in natural features, land formations, man-made creativities, artifacts, and divergent culture. Stakeholders believe that the industry can contribute more to the country's GDP more than is currently doing, if well harnessed. The special advisor to Sonwulu on tourism, arts and culture, Solomon Banu, says the Sonwulu government has done a lot to develop the sector in Lagos State as a potent location for African and black cultural identity. There is a, 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 a project going on that we call Point of No Return where they, they pick the uh, slave and move across the sea. Uh, we, are, we are working on that currently. And there's another place we call a slave market, which is called Verikete Market in Badagri. We are working on that too. And uh, very soon, Mr. Gov Governor will go there and commission that place. And uh, if you see uh, some of our realization center, like theaters and cinemas, so there are a whole lot of things that Mr. Governor is doing to revive tourism. In Lagos State. The sector was one of the industries badly hit by the COVID-19 pandemic. Stakeholders say, in spite of that, the industry is still thriving. You can see some of the youth, everybody is going to tourism, providing hospital, uh, hospitality business to everybody. So it's, it's now left for everybody to just tap into that. If somebody, some people say there's no job, uh, you know, some, if you create a, 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 a beer parlor, you understand, in the right way, you can, uh, people will come there. Tourism was, you know, badly hit by the pandemic. But it is not to say that it has really, you know, dragged it to the background. Because in spite of the enormity of the pandemic, a lot was still achieved. The previous year, like 2020, 2021, we are affected with the previous, it's still ongoing, the pandemic that just happened. But as time goes on, Things are coming up and tourism is moving forward in Nigeria and in Lagos. They submitted that the sector is not out of the woods yet and want more awareness to be created for citizens to maximize the benefits derivable from tourism. What we can only uh, uh, encourage government to do is to continue to you know, put in their weight behind tourism. We want the government, if they, if they can encourage tourism in Nigeria, it will definitely be a good thing because when you go for tourism, when you go outside, you will be refreshed. They called on the federal government to address the issue of insecurity in parts of the country in order not to leave the huge potential of tourism untapped. From Lagos, Lab Ikuku Uyeduku, reporting for Plus TV, Africa. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.